Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Dragon Age Inquisition. Today we're in the Falmere and we're going to be looking for this outpost out here. What's it called? Avar Outpost. Apparently we have Inquisition soldiers that are missing. We're actually going to make our way over to here first because it has some mission. I can't. Apparently I can't select it, but whatever. Uh, can I get a pony out here? No, I cannot. Yeah, last time we came here we were like level 5, 6, 7 maybe. And the enemies were level 12, so we uh, we ran away with the tail between our legs, as we are wont to do. Here are some of them right now. They're level 15, so I guess they scaled up a little bit. I don't know if random encounters scale or... Like, uh, I don't know. It seems like some enemies are just straight up super weak. And then other enemies are just straight up our level. So like these guys, they're not our level. But they're stronger than the level 7s we fought last episode, right? And in between episodes, I was looking for Dawnstone, and I ended up finding Red Templars that were level 19, which is my level. Also, do these guys just keep spawning? That seems like, uh... It would be not in my best interest to stay and fight them, then. Yeah, so I don't really know how the random encounters work. For the most part. I know that they get lessened as we uh, fight them. I think you need a mage for this. That's the light. Do I need to have the mage light? Oh, that just spawned a lot of things. They're just... Oh, they're level 11. See, so... They're not even near the level we were just fighting. You are a lesser terror. Apparently I did no damage to you, which is kind of worrying. Never mind, I did a lot of damage to you. In fact, I just killed you. Almost instantly. The beacons seem to draw out the undead. We could use them to fight on dry land. Keep an eye out for more then. Okay. What, how do I do? It says... Oh, do I need this? There we go. The Veilfire message is the... In the fail are largely gibberish and imply a kind of paranoia. Certain letters and numbers repeat. It is possible the writing is a code. It's not 23, is it? Because I think I know where this is going. These Veilfire's runes are interspersed interspersed with numbers and mathematical notations. They invoke a clear sense of panic as if the author was trying to figure out a difficult problem. Neat! Okay, where's the next beacon? There's the beacon, there's a the rune. Oh, so they're not on to each other. We might as well just do this one, because it's going to lead right to the place, right? Yeah, pretty close to it. So yeah, let's just do the beacons. I figured we would get that one right... As it was in our way. Can we teleport to that beacon as well? We can. Interesting. Alright. Is that... Oh, it's a shade. Now, there are rifts here as well. They are. I can see that there. So, I'm assuming they're gonna... There's another beacon. I'm assuming, I'm assuming the rifts are gonna be more... As we get more camps. It does look like there's only, like, two camps, though. Yeah, this one must be the next beacon. In fact, it is. Alright. So let's come here. Alright, where are they? Oh, and examine. Uh, staring at the set of unreadable runes conjures up strong feelings of bitterness and arrogance in equal measure. They fade slowly. Cool. There's still a quest. Oh, take. Apostate's Widris' journal. This thick journal is half undecipherable. Undecipher, uh, the part that can be read are splattered with ink, as if the author had written them in a hurry, probably being attacked by undead, given the trend of this area. There were years of notes in that book. Years. How could they have taken it? Or deciphered it? Did someone follow me from the circle? I bet it was Wernham or Claris. They always were jealous little busybodies. 
If they saw what I've done, the demons I have harnessed, they'd be green with envy. Who's afraid of spirits now, you simpering... <laughs> Eru's? Whatever. But I must have my book back. I will write down the cipher again before I forget. Again, these demons are clever. I can't have them demanding a price for decrypting my own notes. The concoctions I can make with the plants here in safe amounts will open my mind to vices past the fade. The demons hint it is beyond me because they wish to undermine me. It's so clear. It's so very, very clear. I was on the right character. Excuse me, lesser terror. Uh, you are beneath me, and you should feel bad about knocking me on the ground, you jackass. Alright, you're dead. Anyone else want to die? Uh, again? Where'd everyone go? Seriously, where did everyone go? Killed like one thing and they all... Was it the demon? Do I just have to kill the demon? Like, oh. Light the beacons and defeat the demons. Not everyone. I thought the corpses were the demons as well. Alright, well. It's good to know. Kind of. Yeah, we're gonna go over there. Grab this loot, because apparently something dropped red velvet over here. Uh, excuse me. This is also mine. Thank you. So last episode, I might have misspoken a little bit about Blackwall. Uh, at, at the end, I was kind of like thrown for loop. I said like I thought he was like the only untainted one. That's not completely the side true. Of the Avar who want to challenge me or the Inquisition soldiers? You done, Garrosh? Anyways. That's not completely true. Uh, Cassandra, obviously, seems very untainted. She has, uh, you know, she has a little bit of issue, like an anger issue, and trust issues, but that's kind of understandable. Um, you know, Varric, he's not that bad. If I played part two, I'd probably have a different opinion of it, but he seems very, while, like I said, the Han Solo of the group, he is rather kind and wants the best to happen. And, you know, Solus, while I might have gave him crap for wanting to kill that guy, it was an, an emotional outburst. I can't say I blame him too entirely for it. So, I guess for the most part, the... The, uh, majority of the group is kind of... Like, half and half. Excuse me! <clears throat> How you doing? Good? Good? Good. I'm gonna open this rift. Are you fighting me now? No? Okay, you're fighting them. Uh, thanks? You know, I'm just gonna disrupt this rift. Sky Watcher. Hello. So, you're Herald of Ondraste. No. My kin want you dead, Lowlander. But it's not my job. No fears from me. What are you doing here? Why aren't you with the other Avar? Trying to figure out this hole in the world. Never seen anything like it's like. They spit out angry spirits. Endless. What the sky's trying to tell us? I don't know. Is that why you're called Skywalker? They're called Fade Rifts. They're caused by the breach in the sky. It was some kind of magic gone wrong. I know that, Lowlander. I'm talking about the Lady of the Skies. Do you not know her? Can't you see the warning she writes through the bird flocks in the air? Preposterous superstition. Shut up, Vivian! Is what you wore to a bog, Orlesian. Dad! Shit, we need to bring her to a burn center. Uh, are my missing people hurt? Apparently we're in combat also. So, as I was saying... I. Are my missing people hurt? The other Avar kidnapped an Inquisition patrol. Are they alright? A few were injured in the skirmish, but they were alive. 
Last I saw them. Someone's trained them well. They killed more of us than I thought they would. You're damn right they did. Why aren't you attacking? I thought the Avar wanted to fight me. Our chieftain's son wants to fight you. I'm called him when the dead pile up. Rights to Pleasant. the gods. Mending for the bleeding. A dagger for the dying. That's what You're I a mean. healer. Now don't pick up a blade for a whelp's trophy hunt. Alright, well. Farewell then. Kind of creepy Watch looking. Have fun. Where are we going next? So we're just going straight over here. All right. Right. Yeah, you're creepy looking. I'm not too concerned about the loot because there's like nothing here that I want. And I don't really need the money, it seems. Though I will loot chests still because uh, I can't break that habit. If there is a chest I need, I need to loot it. You guys aren't even going to worry about that one, huh? So let's just keep going over here. Huh. That's a creepy statue. The Misty Grove. I grew up in a place called the Grove. That's all I'm going to say about that. It wasn't exactly in a great place. It wasn't bad, obviously. Oh, apparently this is an Arvar Bone Man. That I just killed from a distance. Are you? Uh, I think that was a lady Avar. Read. Uh, the 15th day of my journey across the Tevinter Imperium, our caravan reached a great rolling plain. Is this just? Yeah, this is just lore. Um, yeah, what was I saying about the grove? Hey, for a small town, I guess this isn't too out of uh, ordinary, out of the ordinary. But uh, there was a lot of problems. Like, I ended up cutting ties with the people there as soon as I could because they were going to a place that I didn't want to go. Which is kind of sad because I grew up with most of them. But they, uh... They, they walked a different path than me. Is Where is this beacon? Is this the beacon? I mean, kind of looks like a beacon. What's this? Oh, God. Damn it. I want to get that one as well, so we'll go up here and get that. Is it that? I don't think it's that. I don't even know how to get up there. Oh, it's that. I actually just kind of wanted to jump that garage, but... You know, whatever. Whatever works for you. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That was nowhere on the map it was telling us. And by nowhere, I mean it was like two feet to the left. Just examine that real quick. These particular Veilfire runes are completely impenetrable, but staring at them brings about the mental image of some kind of plant. And the impression is somehow important, then it fades. Lovely. Where's the demon? There's the demon. Kind of a hardy demon. Oh, look at it. Take a good amount of hits. That kill everyone? Oh, no, nope, one more demon. That kill everyone? That did kill everyone. Neat. We'll do that later. But first, we'll go over here. That was weird. On the map, these two locations did not look like they were close to each other. Not fair enough, really. There's not much else for us to do aside dragon hunt. I mean, there's a lot of side quests, but they seem relatively unimportant to the whole story of the game. Uh, I do plan on fighting all the dragons before doing the end mission. So, we might start that today, depending on how long this uh, area quest takes. I figure we do this quest and the Avar quest to kind of round out everything Look. in this area. Signs of a plague. It must have been a terrible illness. No one's come to reclaim the land. No one living at any rate. Dude, I would love to hear that again because I was too busy focused on the combat. Something about a plague? The Plague Knight? What's that over there? I 
I mean, I'll go over. Oh, oh come on. Let's just go get it. Oh, my control is vibrating. We should look around. Cabin key. All right. Guessing I couldn't have picked the lock. There's spirits in there. Hello. You're dead. Take. A diary found in the fallow mirror. One water soak entry dated 10 days ago is still legible. The damn roof, roof leaked, leaks and I've been eating boiled roots for a week. I'm squatting in a bog no one so much as spat in for 10 years. Still better than the alienage, thanks, thank Andraste. That's the last time I visited the city for a while. I'm worried about the gardeners. They weren't sick when I left and now they're all down with a fever. And their little boy is at death's door. Nigel Mars said we should lock them in their home. <laughs> Jesus. The sour codger. Maybe I can bring something to help. Is it the is it death root that cures the fever or elf root? Oh it can't be death root, can it? Ask Ira, which is right. Uh I hope you fed everyone the death root. Cause that's fucked. Sonic, darling, if you wish instruction in proper magical attacks. Do let me know. God, you're such a... I will. Perhaps you will direct me to a circle mage who does not front load her barriers. Oh, burn. You're getting burned today, Vivian. Uh, Vivian and I... Like, I don't... despise her. I can't say that I like her, though. She's... Could have warned me about that, Vivian. But yeah, she's a uh, she's a little bit too much, I guess you can say. Though th this group of characters does have personalities for each type of pretty much asshole there is. So I guess that I got that covered. This is the last one. I think this is the last one. Solus. Energizer Bunny, go! Good job. And read that while the enemies come. These unreadable runes invoke, for a moment, a sudden and overpowering feeling of smug and vengeful triumph, as though a difficult problem has been solved. There is an image of a bottled elixir, then it fades, a cipher written in the last pages of, a, of Apostate Wade's journey. Journal corresponds to the Veilfire writing found in the Felomere. The cipher messages are notes that, when taken together, form instructions on how to contact a particular danger, concoct a particular dangerous poison. Cool. I think. Oh. Miss me? No, you didn't miss me. I'm sort of surprised at that. But I got an assassin duke right up your alley, and you are dead. You. Are also <laughs> Oh god, that was beautiful. You should die now so everyone else dies. Everyone else dies? Everyone else is dead. Alrighty then. Three of corpses back to the shore. The fewer of these creatures, the better. So is that gonna clear up the dead like as we walk to here? Can we teleport to each of these? That's amazing, actually. Uh next is Oh yeah, we need to find these. This is the main reason we're here. The artifacts of Blackwall. Even though we know he's not a goddamn warden. Though I guess we're gonna treat him as such. Maybe I should have given him to the wardens, though. I don't know. I wanted him. I didn't want to completely pardon him. I'll, I'll be upfront with that one. He did something really bad. Like really bad. And he should have served some time. I was kind of wanting him to do like, you will serve, not like slavery, but like you will serve in the Inquis in Inquis 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 uh, Inquisition, I can't even speak. And after we will like negotiate your punishment, your jail time, whatever. Or send you back. I mean, I guess I could have sent him to the wardens, cause I guess he would have stayed with us. They're endless. Run for the castle. You think they're endless? 
I mean, we're doing pretty good. So it does look like some are spawning out there. Okay. Okay. You don't have to tell me twice. Yoink. Wait a minute. It's got to be up there. He doesn't know we're here. Take his head. Now he's dead. Is there like a lever or something I gotta pull? Well, what the fuck is it? Is it up there? Do I gotta go up there? You're shooting at me. You? Not off cooldown yet. You're lucky. Yeah, I'm trying to get to the vi controller. I get it. Just kind of thought there were stairs up there or something. There's really nothing out there. All right. What am I? Oh, Summerstone. Ah, that was kind of a waste of Assassin Dukin. All right. Is I think I need to go up there. Yeah, I do. Something vibrates over there. I kind of thought there was going to be like peaceful open the gates. Oh, I thought I was trying to close the gates. Kind of figured there was going to be like a, a supply cache. You're right. You don't need that. Like some sort of like peaceful negotiation. Like why do you want to fight us? I'm actually a social charismatic leader and I don't want to fight you instead of just we're going to kill everyone. Um, which, you know, it's fine. For the most part, I like options though, even if I don't always take them. Heal bonus. Is that to me or from my spell? Like, if I put that on Vivian, will her healing circles heal for more? Huh. Didn't even have to make one of those. Damn it. Okay, where is this thing? Grey Warden Tomb. Okay, so... Man, the map's really off here. Isn't it? That's kind of weird. Darkwall would have liked to have been here for this. Yeah, I bet he would. Uh, in 652 Storm, it's just lore. Just lore. All right. Where is this leather? Lever, not lover. Ominous. I like it. To defeat the Avar leader. Apparently I missed some loot. It's an anti-van blade. Look, I don't like vans either. But come on. Let's not be like assholes about it. Alright, fall down. Oh, I didn't take it. Spending too much time in Skyhold does that to me. It increases my risk of fall damage because I just keep falling off my castle. Hello! You're dead! I would cut these out, but they don't... Oh, fuck. Did you see that? That was beautiful. Anyways. I would cut these out, except they're kind of, like, really easy. Like, really easy. I kind of feel bad about it. Since, since they take, like, less than, like, ten seconds, I'm not gonna Herald of worry too much about it. Face me. I am the hand of himself. Okay, I don't know who that is. Also, I heard, like, half of your sentence. You got a bitchin' ass helmet, though. You are only level 11. You did almost just one-shot Vivian, though. That's fine. No, 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 no. Why am I looting? Stop looting. We don't loot here. That's a lie. We loot all the time. 
Also, you didn't really do anything there. Why didn't you do anything? You're frozen. Uh, kill Dukin! Everything's a Dukin. Secure a route through the Frostback operation. Alright. Oh, I didn't show you guys Cassandra's new equipment. I don't feel bad about that. Alright, we'll show that off in a second. I will loot these guys, seeing how they're supposedly the end guys. Yeah, yeah, we'll release the prisoners in a second. Uh, Gift of the Mountain Father. Level 10. That rusted key. Lovely. What's vibrating? All right. Gray Warden Banner. That's the last Black of the Black Walls. Like been here for this. Alrighty then. Let's go release our soldiers. Hello, soldiers. Judge the... Oh. <laughs> I thought he was going to tell me to judge the freaking prisoners. Yes, your worship. The injured need some rest, but we can return on our own. Neat. I can't believe the Herald came for us. I told you he wouldn't leave us. It's like literally the last area I came to, and I discovered it like an episode five, six, seven, maybe. So, sorry about the wait. Actually, was about to go uh, back to Skyhold, but when I opened up my map, Skywatch is here. Your God looks after you, Harold. There lies the brat. His father, chief of our holding, would duel me for the loss if he cared enough. You want to want to join us? The Inquisition has a purpose your chief lacks. Is this why the Lady of the Skies let me here? To help heal the wounds in her skin. Are you human? Uh, I'll join you. Let me make peace with my kin, and I'll find where you set your flag. You don't look human. Gosh, you are so goddamn awkward sometimes. Alright, well, glad I came. More judgy judgy time. Bad posture, dude. Your back must suck. This was a surprise. After you return from the bogs, we discovered this man attacking the building with a ghost. God damn it, Blackwall has lost his mind. Chief that was hilarious. Thunder. He feels slighted by the killing of his Avar tribesmen, who repeatedly attacked you first. What should we do with him? Where should he go? Well, first we want to send him to a doctor to fix that hair clipping through his hat. And I want it with a goat. You answered the death of your clan with a goat. <laughs> a courtroom? Unnecessary. You killed my idiot son, and I answered, as is my custom, by smacking your holdings with goat's blood. Okay, so it's just custom? Don't look at me. No foul. You meant to murder Tevinters, but got feisty with your Inquisition. A red-headed mother guarantees a- Oh shit, where's Liliana? Do as you've earned, Inquisitor. My clan yields. My remaining boys have brains still in their heads. <laughs> That's morbid. I like it. Acquired. Okay, sweet. New throne. Drive them out of my land. I'm not going to send him to the Taventar, and he has every right to live in this land. Is it called the Giblet? Gibbet? I don't know. He could go in that, what's it called? A gibbet? Chief Mofran, you'll be placed in a gibbet to serve as an example to someone. Then, probably released. Gibbet? <laughs> gibbet? Gibbet? <laughs> what's a gibbet? I also got a lot of disapproval. I thought I was doing the right thing.
Why do I still have Judge the Prisoner? Fuck it, let's go talk to Blackwall. Um... Oh, okay, yeah, he's over here. Give it. Give it. Give it. Oh, really? That's a give it. Oh, fuck, dude. I didn't want to do that. Okay, well... Right. <laughs> Blackwall! How's it going, buddy? Heard you found something that had to do with wardens. Would have liked to have seen it. Shut up! Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. I mean... I brought them back, didn't I? Shit, you needed to be there, didn't you? Fuck. Eurytheus is able to possess Grey Wardens, or so I hear. Perhaps it's a good thing I'm not a real warden. Crush, what the fuck, man? Come on, Blacklaw, what's a dance? A very good thing, I guess. It's a blessing. Warden or not, I'd hate to be on the other side of your blade. Going up against the Darkspawn. And the last thing you want is a Grey Warden. Funny how these things happen. Uh, we already know the truth about him. We'll talk to him later. Um, yeah, so that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, am I stuck like this? If you aren't subscribed yet, why don't you head over to my video section, check out some of my other content, and see if it's to your liking. Uh, I'm going to moonwalk out of here. Later then. Oh, this is this is amazing. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope you, hope you all have a great day.